me too, Capital G here, first card review and who knows how long, but we got some new Nordic support coming out of Battle of Chaos to talk about, and when I first learned of this, honestly, I kind of rolled my eyes and I thought, oh, here we go again, another archetype getting legacy support, that, I mean, is it even really savable? So I kind of just expected the worst, but this is surprisingly good like these cards all four of them are incredibly solid these will instantly be staples in the nordic deck and i think konami put a lot of effort into these cards trying to make nordics a legitimate archetype so we're gonna go ahead and uh, check them out the first one is kind of like a boar um it's gulen bursty of the nordic beast it's a level three light beast tuner monster 300 attack 100 defense now very important with the effect of this card it says for the synchro summon you can substitute this card for any nordic tuner first and second effects are hard once per turns first effect says if this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one Nordic monster from your hand. Second effect, you can target a Nordic monster in your graveyard, except another copy of itself, add it to your hand. This card is a saving grace for the Nordic archetype. In fact, I would say it actually addresses the single biggest problem Nordics as an archetype have had for when did Storm of Ragnarok come out? Probably like 12 years ago. Like the, the, the entire time, this archetype has suffered because to summon each Acer God, Loki, Thor, and uh, which one am I missing? Odin. You need specific cards, like specific tuners to summon each one of them. And that was just utterly ridiculous. It was the reason why they were instant flops, competitively speaking. Whereas if you look at some other archetypes that were around the same time, like Six Samurai, the 5D support, or Karakuri, the synchros and those archetypes, you, they were a little more lenient with the uh, the materials, kind of like with Karakuri, just, you know, machine monsters, and those archetypes ended up winning YCSs, but the effect of this card basically means you don't got to run all those crappy tuners to summon whichever acer god that you want now you can just run this card and then obviously both of the effects are really solid on this card number one um another issue that nordics have uh they just can't before the link monster anyways they just couldn't get enough monsters on the field easily enough to be able to drop their uh you know their acer gods like turn one this is just has a built-in extender effect just special summon another nordic from your hand and then the recovery effect is excellent because basically if you were to normal summon this and then special summon another dude from your hand you could take that nordic monster turn it into the link monster add that card right back to your hand and then banish it with the link monster's effect and then just you know summon another one from your deck so obviously that's just it's kind of this card is kind of like a one card playmaker well you need another monster in hand but it's a serious playmaker in my opinion uh, great card definitely a three of for nordics next up we have an extender this is um ivadi uh not ivadi the nordic smith so it's kind of like a blacksmith level four earth warrior 1500 attack 700 defense hard once per, or hard effect or hard once per turn on both of the effects first effect if you control a nordic or acer monster you can special summon this card from your hand second effect if this card is normal or special summon you can add one nordic relic card which is all the spells and traps for nordics uh, from your deck to your hand this card is also incredible they, like these two monsters are gonna power creep like half the archetype like a lot of those bad nordic cards you're just not gonna see them anymore as, as far as like the monsters this card is another extender which nordics desperately Desperately need that's what konami tried to you know essentially do with the link monster but it's another extender and then also it instantly searches the entire spell and trap pool when it hits the field now i'm not gonna lie i didn't know too much about the nordic spell and trap pool but honestly the next two cards that we're going to talk about, all you need to do is just search these two cards. You don't need to search anything else because the new spells and traps are crazy good. So this is another card that it's like an instant three of because it's never dead in your hand and uh, it's a plus one on summon. So definitely a three of. We have a Nordic Relic. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, we'll, we'll just say <laughs> you guys can read it. Normal spell, uh, hard once per turn. Or uh, th no, this is like um, this is like a Thunder Dragon card. You get the you can only use one of the first or second effects in any given turn. So the first effect says special summon a Nordic monster from your deck. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. Uh, while the summon monster is face up on the field except acer monsters second effect you can banish this card from your graveyard add one nordic monster from your deck to your hand then shuffle one card from your deck into your uh from your hand into your deck this card 
is insanely good. This is basically a hero lives or Zodiac Barrage. It's basically the same thing. It's like a hero lives for the entire Nordic archetype, except during like following turns, it also becomes a rota for the archetype. Like <laughs> that is absolutely insane. I mean, imagine if other decks, like imagine if something like Salamangrate had this card, that would be utterly ridiculous. Salamangrate Circle got limited to one and it's I'd say it's not even nearly as good as this card. This is crazy good. This is obviously a play starter for Nordics. And, you know, in following turns, it just gets a little better because it helps you get to whatever whatever Nordic monster that you need. Like, just easily play three of this card. Our final card is a trap, which uh, is very powerful. And that's cool because usually when it comes to legacy support, the trap cards tend to just be throwaways, not really that good. But this is definitely the exception. So this is Nordic Relic uh, Savalin. It's a continuous trap card where it's very similar to the last card with the activation uh, conditions, very similar to like Thunder Dragons. You can only use the first or the second effect in any given turn. First effect, if you control an ace or a monster, you can negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent currently controls until the end of the turn. Second effect, you contribute one Nordic monster, uh, then target an ace or monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So this is a one-sided negation against everything your opponent has face-up on the field as long as you control one of those big synchro acer you know god cards nordic thor or loki and uh, that's really the only downside of this card is that you have to have one of them on the field unfortunately the the nordic link monster is not an acer card it's just um you know it's just an, a, a typical nordic monster uh, maybe konami will give us another synchro in this set maybe they'll give us a uh, thor's sister uh, hella that'd be kind of cool it's like another one but this definitely gives purpose to the acer gods and that's always been another problem with nordics is yeah you could summon like if you could somehow summon odin or thor turn one like yeah it's cute but they're basically just big battering rams they don't really do much other than that they didn't give you any, you know, ways of actually slowing down your opponent or impeding them. And finally, we have something that can do that. And this card is very powerful because it can negate not just monster effects like a skill drain or a destiny hero plasma, but this also works on spells and trap cards. A lot of times I've, oh, I've seen some duels with Nordics in this new support. You, you can use it for, you know, negating your opponent's prosperity or a tenki or a field spell that they activate. But just keep in mind, let's say that your opponent activates desires, you flip this over and negate the desires if your opponent puts something else on the field after that like if they play i don't know a pot of duality that card will resolve it just negates uh cards that are currently on the field um the fact that you can keep using that during either player's turn is very strong because you know negating during your turn can mean negating your opponent's like defensive cards and then negating during your opponent's turn you can negate their offensive stuff the call of the haunted effect is also nice it's probably not an effect you're going to use nearly as much as the negation effect in all honesty but it basically means like if your opponent does take down your acer god and i think um odin reborns himself but if your opponent does take down your acer god you can basically just give up any of your little crappy nordic monsters and instantly reborn it but in all honesty you're probably just going to keep using you're going to just keep spamming the negation effect because taking away one of your opponent's strongest cards every single turn it's going to make your Nordic monsters, like your, your Acer gods, pretty damn difficult to take down. So I actually like this stuff a lot. Um, I do think it would be cool to see another Acer god. That would be the only thing that I would like to see in addition to this. But definitely a good job by Konami. Anyways, whatever you guys think of the support, you leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching as always.